All right. We're going to start in just a nice, comfortable seat this morning. Sitting up nice and tall, you are welcome to close your eyes. And just take a nice, deep breath in through your nose. And let out a long exhale. Let's do that again. Big breath in. And exhale it all out. Continue to take deep, full breaths. Just releasing any tension through the upper body, the shoulders, the neck, the jaw. Feeling this sense of grounding down, feeling that support from the earth underneath you. Using that focus on your breath to just help clear and center your mind. Releasing any wandering thoughts. Letting go of what needs to be done later. And just allowing yourself to be right here in this present moment. Just you and your breath. Now without letting go of that connection with your breath, just start to gently roll out your neck. Just half circles here, bringing one ear to one shoulder, chin to your chest, other ear to the other shoulder. Just going back and forth, nice, gentle, slow movement. Now slowly bring your head back up to center. We're going to take that right arm, reach up and over towards the left, just finding a gentle side bend, rooting down into your sit bones. Feel that stretch through the right side body, reaching out through your fingertips. Now we're gonna keep our body and our head reaching towards the left, but just take that top arm and then reach it over towards the right. Just let your head hang heavy, bringing that left ear towards the left shoulder. You're reaching out through your right fingertip. And now very slowly start to come back up and we're going to take a twist over to the right. So grab a hold of your right knee, turning your head towards the right shoulder, making sure to keep length up through your spine, crown of the head reaching away from your tailbone. And then slowly come back to center. 
Let's do the other side. Take that left arm, reach up and over to the right side, bend other direction, reaching out through the fingertips, breathing into that left side body. And then keep your body and your head reaching towards the right, but that top arm is going to reach towards the left. Releasing any tension through the neck, just let the head dangle down. And then slowly come up, take your twist over to the left, hand grabs a hold of your left knee, looking towards your left shoulder, drawing the belly in towards your spine to protect the back and also help you twist a little deeper. And then slowly come back to center. Go ahead and let your hands come down to your side and lower your chin down towards your chest. Now, as you inhale, start to lift up your chin and your arms up to the sky, big stretch. And as you exhale, chin to chest, hands down to your side. Again, inhale, lift the chin, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, release, chin to chest two more times. Inhale, reach and look up. Exhale, lower. One more, inhale, reach tall. And exhale, release. All right, let's go ahead and lean forward, coming into our tabletop hands and knees. And as we come into our tabletop here, just take any mo movement that feels good. So you can go through a few rounds of cat, cow, start to stretch and move through the spine. It might feel good to kind of rock the hips a little side to side or even move in big circles. Taking this time this morning to just notice how your body is feeling, noticing what feels good, but also what feels a little extra tight or sore, just becoming aware of the spaces that need a little bit more attention today. Continuing to take those full breaths. Go ahead and take one more cycle of breath. Any last little movement here. And then we're gonna meet in a child's pose. Let those knees come out wide as comfortable. Sink the hips back towards your heels and reach those arms towards the top of your mat. Let your heart and your head melt down. Make this a pretty active child's pose. So we're really reaching through the fingertips. Palms are pressing into the mat. Heart melts down, hips sink back towards the heels. Let's take three big belly breaths here.
On your next inhale, rise up to your hands and knees. We'll curl our toes under and find our first downward facing dog. Nice and easy here. We're waking up the body. So just find any little movement that feels good here. We're pedaling out through the feet, dropping one heel to the mat, big stretch through the leg and then the other leg. Hands are about shoulder width apart, feet about hip width apart. Just letting the head hang between the arms. And now let's begin to make our way to the top of our mat, bringing those feet up to meet the hands forward fold. You can let those feet to be as wide as comfortable here. Generous bend in the knees, feel the belly come down towards your thighs. The arms can just hang heavy or grab a hold of your elbows and just sway side to side. Feel that release through the low back. Let go of any tension through the neck. Head just dangles down. And with those fingertips reaching towards your mat, if you have those feet wider than the hips, just walk them in a little bit closer together. As you inhale, just lift up halfway. Hands rest on your shins or your thighs, creating a nice flat back. As you exhale, release and fold. Press into your feet. Inhale, stand all the way up, reaching to the sky, big stretch. Exhale, hands at your heart. Inhale, reach to the sky. Thumbs are pointing back, pull the belly in. We'll cactus out our arms, elbows wide, heart forward. Inhale, reach to the sky and exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Again, inhale, stand all the way up, big stretch. Exhale, hands at your heart. Inhale, reach to the sky, thumbs back. Exhale, cactus, just a really tiny back bend. Inhale, reach overhead. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, stand all the way up. Reach to the sky. Exhale, hands at your heart. Inhale, reach tall, thumbs back, exhale, cactus, open the heart. Inhale, reach up and exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back, exhale, fold. We're just going to step our left foot back. Lower that back knee down to your mat. We're coming into our low lunge, right foot forward. Take a moment, hands can either rest on your mat, on blocks, or on top of your thigh. Just start to wake up those hips here, gently rocking forward and back. And now finding stillness in your low lunge, we're gonna bring our left hand down to our mat right next to our front foot and reach your right arm up to the sky, easy twist. Feel the belly draw inward. That right arm is reaching away from the left arm. Let's take one more inhale. 
As you exhale, right hand comes down to your mat. We'll straighten out that front leg, flex that front foot, half split. Have as much of a bend in that front knee as you need. You're pressing into that front heel, pulling the right hip back. Let's take two more big breaths here. Folding forward, crown of the head towards your toes. And as you inhale, come back to your low lunge. Hands onto your mat. We're going to step back to a plank. Now in your plank, you can either be up on your toes, hips in line with your heart, or you can always lower the knees to the mat, but lower those hips as well, shifting your weight forward, shoulders over wrists. Draw the belly up to your spine. Strong arms pushing away from the ground. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, lower belly, chest, and chin all the way down. Top of the feet, press down into your mat. As you inhale, lift your heart, cobra, just high as comfortable. Exhale, release, nose to mat. Again, inhale, lift your heart, cobra. Exhale, release. Curl your toes. Inhale to your tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Reaching those hips to the sky. Take three full breaths here. Let there be a little bend in the knees. It's more important to find length through your spine. Relax the shoulders down the back. Pressing more into your index fingers and thumb. On your next exhale, we'll make our way to the top of our mat, forward fold. On an inhale, just lift up halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reaching tall. Exhale, hands at your heart. Now from here, we're going to clasp our hands right at our low back. But we're just going to keep those elbows nice and bent. We're going to think about pulling the elbows in towards one another. So the heart comes forward, shoulders back. Draw the belly in towards your spine. Lengthen the tailbone down towards the mat. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, release those hands. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Fold, we'll step our right foot back, lowering that back knee down to your mat, finding our low lunge on the left side. Again, hands can be on the ground, maybe on blocks or resting on top of your thigh. Just finding gentle movement here, getting a nice stretch into those hips, into that right thigh. Coming back to your breath, breathing in to any tight spaces in the body. And now we'll have our right hand pressing into our mat next to our front foot. Left arm reaches to the sky, easy twist. Pull the belly inward, reaching up through that left hand, big stretch. And we'll release our left hand down, straighten that front leg, flexing your front foot, half split. Again, much of a bend as you need in that front knee. 
We're folding forward, belly towards the thigh, nose towards your shin. Let's take two big breaths here. And on your next inhale, come back to your low lunge. We'll step back to our plank. Again, you can stay up on the toes or lower the knees. Crown of the head is reaching forward. Inhale, breath. Exhale, lower all the way down. Hug in your elbows, shoulders back. Inhale, lift your heart, cobra. Exhale, release. Curl your toes and make your way to your downward facing dog. Here in our down dog, take three big breaths. Curling tailbone to the sky. Gently pulling your heart towards your thigh. And then begin to make your way to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, big stretch. Exhale, hands at your heart. All right, again, clasp your hands right at your low back. Now this time you can keep the elbows bent or if it feels okay for the shoulders, you can let those arms straighten, reaching your knuckles towards the ground. The heart comes forward, shoulder blades squeeze together. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, we're gonna fold forward. You can either keep your arms at your low back or reach the knuckles up to the sky. Let there be a little bend in your knees, belly towards your thighs. Just let gravity do the work, head hangs heavy. And then release those arms reaching towards your mat. On an inhale, lift up halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold. Now we're gonna step our left foot back, but keep your knee lifted off the mat and pivot that back foot. We'll come up to our warrior two. So the hips and the hearts are open towards the left. We're bending into that right knee, stacking the shoulders over the hips. Now from here, we're gonna take our hands, take them to the low back. Now, a couple options here. You can either just grab a hold of your forearm or like we just did at the top of our mat, clasp your hands and then reach those knuckles towards the ground. So just finding your variation here. Now, what we're going to do is rotate the heart so it's pointing towards the front left corner of your mat. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, start to fold forward, just coming right next to your front thigh. Crown of the head is reaching towards that front left corner of your mat. Maybe those arms reach to the sky, humble warrior. We won't be here too long. A lot of strength for the legs, steady breath. Keep pressing down into the outer edge of your back foot. And now we're gonna release our left hand right next to our front foot. Lift your back heel up and reach your right arm to the sky, easy twist. We've been here before. You can either keep that back knee lifted or let it lower down to your mat. Let's take a big breath in, reaching up tall. 
twisting as you exhale and then release your right hand down come back to that half split straight in your front leg flex that front foot let's take three big breaths here soften through the neck head reaching towards your shin And then we'll return back to our low lunge. All right, little bit different here. We're gonna come back to our warrior two. So lift the back knee, pivot your back foot and rise back up. So we've been here again before, right leg forward back in our warrior two. This time we're gonna straighten that front leg and find our triangle. Right hand comes down to the shin, the thigh, the knee. Left arm reaches up to the sky. Try and keep that heart open to the sky. We're opening up that left hip. Crown of the head is reaching past the top of your mat. Let's take one more round of breath here. And then pressing into your feet, inhale back up, warrior two. Reach up and back, reverse warrior, big stretch. And then we'll cartwheel our hands to our mat. Your choice, you can go right to your down dog or take a vinyasa flow, lowering belly to cobra or maybe halfway chaturanga to your up dog and we'll meet in our down dog. Take a breath. From your down dog, make your way to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach tall. Exhale, hands at your heart. All right, again, clasp your hands right at the low back. Option to keep the elbows bent or straighten those arms, knuckles to the ground. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, fold forward either keeping your arms at your low back or knuckles reach to the sky. Little bend in the knees. Just let your upper body hang heavy. And then release those hands down to your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. We'll step our right foot back. Pivot on your back foot and we'll come up to our warrior two on the other side. Deep bend into your left knee. Arms parallel to the floor. Reach through those fingertips, but relax through the shoulders. You're rooting into those feet. Strong legs. Now from here, take your hands to your low back. Again, either just grabbing a hold um, onto your forearms or maybe clasp your hands and then reach knuckles to the ground. Start to rotate the heart so it's pointing towards the front right corner of your mat. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, start to fold forward coming right next to your inner thigh. Maybe the arms stay at the low back or maybe the knuckles reach to the sky. Humble warrior. Feel that strength in your left leg. Deep breaths here. 
crown of the head reaching down. And now let's release your right hand to the mat. Lift your back heel and left arm reaches to the sky. Easy twist. Your back knee can stay lifted or lower it down to your mat. Take one big inhale breath. Exhale it out. And then release your left hand down. We'll straighten that front leg, flex that front foot, half split. Let's take three big breaths here. And then we'll return back to our low lunge. We're gonna come back to our warrior two, lift the back knee, pivot that back foot, rise up warrior two again. This time we'll straighten that left leg. Find your triangle, left hand down to your thigh, your shin, your ankle, right arm to the sky. We're rolling that right shoulder back, opening up that right hip. Press down into the outer edge of your back foot. Let's take one more cycle of breath here. And as you inhale, rise back up, warrior two. Reach up and back, reverse warrior. Keep that bend in your front knee. And as you exhale, cartwheel those hands down. You can take a vinyasa here or head right to your down dog. Once you're in your down dog, Take about three to five full breaths here. Just giving yourself one last good down dog stretch. And then once you feel ready, Gently lower down, child's pose. Sink the hips back and down. Melt the heart and the head. Just letting your body feel heavy. Take a few big belly breaths here. And your next inhale, slowly come up to your hands and knees. Take a moment to just sway those hips a little side to side. And we're just going to come into a seat here, swing those legs around and have both legs extended out in front. Feel the heels press into the mat, flexing through the feet, toes towards your forehead. Root into your sit bones, draw the belly inward. Reach your arms up to the sky. As you inhale, lengthen up through your spine. And as you exhale, fold forward just reaching far as you can. We'll take several breaths here. So just allow your body to ease into the stretch. Use your breath. 
With every exhale, maybe you fold just a little deeper. We'll take two more rounds of breath here. And then slowly start to roll up. Stacking head over the heart, heart over the hip. Now we're going to take our hands behind us, bend into the knees, feet on your mat, pressing into the hands and your feet. We're going to lift our hips for a reverse tabletop, just lifting those hips up high as comfortable, either tucking chin to the chest, or if it feels okay for the neck, you can let the head hang back. Lift up through the hips, press into the hands and the feet, draw the belly in, take one more inhale, and as you exhale, gently lower down. We'll just come into a bound angle, bring soles of the feet together, knees out wide, holding on to the shins, the ankles, the feet, you can have the heels as close or as far away from the body as comfortable. And we're gonna make this a really passive fold. Just start to fold forward, bringing the chin down towards your chest. But again, we're not forcing anything here. We're just gonna let gravity do all the work. Let your upper body just feel heavy. It might even feel good to kind of sway a little side to side. Coming back to your breath. Deep inhales. And long exhales. And maybe you notice over time, you start to fold a little bit deeper. We'll take a few more breaths here. And on your next inhale, slowly start to lift the chest. Sitting up nice and tall, bring your knees together, hands behind you. This time we'll just windshield wiper those knees side to side. And let's go ahead and make our way onto our backs, taking any little movement that feels good as you come down. Maybe it's rolling along the spine, or maybe it's just rocking side to side. 
Eventually letting the head and the shoulders feel heavy on your mat. And we'll meet with our legs bent, soles of the feet down on our mat. Arms are resting at our sides. Feet are about hip distance apart. Now pressing down into all four corners of your feet. We're gonna start to curl the tailbone up, lifting our hips up to the sky for a bridge. You can either keep your arms at your sides or bring the shoulder blades together underneath you, clasping your hands at the low back, arms press into the ground. Heart lifts to the chin, chin lifts to the sky. Imagine you're squeezing a block between the inner thighs and lengthening the tailbone towards your calves. Take one more inhale breath. And as you exhale, gently lower all the way down. Go ahead and hug both knees in towards your chest and gently rock side to side. And then let's find a figure four, placing our right ankle over the left thigh. You may want to keep your left foot down on your mat or maybe lift it up, reaching for the back of your left thigh. Keeping your right foot flexed. You're pulling your left thigh towards your body. But think about pushing the right thigh away from the body. Stay relaxed through the head and the shoulders. Deep breaths, in and out. Let's take one more cycle of breath here. And then we'll switch sides, left ankle over the right thigh. Again, either keeping that right foot down on your mat or you can lift it up, bringing those knees closer to the chest. Whether you have that right foot lifted or not, you wanna feel that left ankle press into that right leg but your leg is pressing back into your ankle. Take one more round of breath. And then we'll release our figure four feet to the mat. This time we'll hug our right knee into our chest and let the left leg straighten out onto your mat. Take a moment just to circle out that right ankle one direction and then the other. You are welcome to stay right here or maybe take a twist over to the left. Leg goes across the body. We're stacking our right hip over the left and reaching your right arm out to the right. 
stay heavy in that right shoulder. Keep your heart pointing to the sky. If you took that twist, slowly come back to center and we'll switch sides, hug left knee in, right leg straightens out. Feel the low back press into the ground. Take a moment to circle out your left ankle one direction and then the other. And then option to take that twist over to the right, leg across your body, left arm extends out to the left. Try and keep the back of the left shoulder down on the mat. Full breaths in and out. If you took that twist, slowly come back to center. Hugging both knees back into the chest one last time. Maybe rock a little side to side. And then if there's any other final movements you feel your body needs, Go ahead and take those now. Maybe it's a happy baby. Maybe it's just straightening the legs to the sky. Just any last little movements that feel good here. And as you begin to feel ready, just allow everything to release down to your mat. Now is our time to just soak in our practice. No more work or effort is needed. Just let your body feel heavy. Relaxing every muscle from head to toe. Let your breath move naturally. Let everything around you melt away. Still body, quiet mind as we come into our final pose, Shavasana.
begin to deepen your breath. Start to bring awareness back to your body by wiggling your fingers and toes, circling out your wrists and ankles, and then reaching arms overhead. Taking a big breath in, a full body stretch. Gently roll on to one side. And while taking your time, start to push yourself up, coming into a comfortable seat. With your eyes closed, palms together at your heart. Taking this moment to just acknowledge your practice. Just noticing how your body and mind feels now compared to first stepping onto your mat today. Acknowledging what felt good in the body what felt a little uncomfortable, acknowledging the challenges and the ease you felt on your mat. And now begin to take a deep cleansing breath in through your nose and exhale out the mouth. Gently lower chin to your chest, taking this moment to just be grateful for your body's health. Grateful you have the time and the opportunity to step onto your mat. Time to slow down and just take care of you. When you feel ready, you can blink your eyes open. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste.